Uh, my name is Louis Sink, I'm a tattoo artist who specializes in black work and geometric work and I'm based in Paris. I've been based in Paris for the last three years. My background, I studied graphic design and art for seven years, both in the US and in Switzerland. And uh, I moved to Paris three years ago and I've been tattooing professionally for over five years now. And, uh, and as I said, I, I specialize in, in, uh, in creating fully symmetrical geometric bodysuits. That's what I like to, uh, to work on the most. And I love tattooing because I, I enjoy to do something that matters for some people. You know, like try to help them to feel better about their you know, own self and their skin. And yeah, I love the relationship you get to create with your customer. And I love the relationship that it has with trust. Yeah. And uh, and I think it's yeah I think it's a beautiful craft and and beautiful art as well. So the advice I would give to the new generation, well, I'm I think I'm the new generation as well, uh, and it's just to keep pushing you know the boundaries and try to keep doing things that hasn't been done before. Try to create new new things. Try to respect the culture respect the elders you know you always have to know who paved the road the road you're walking on you know and it's very important to show respect to that go to you know the the old the, the older generation the, the, the artists that's been here before go see themselves work in conventions you know talk to them you know follow their work uh, try to understand and respect the fact that when they did it, you know, now everything is so easy for the new generation. We have internet, we have, you know, new technology, we have new machines, new needles, new new things that were not there before. We have to understand that when they started, you know, years ago, they, they started with nothing. They created what is now, you know, tattooing. And we have to respect that, that's very important. Uh, so yeah, like, respect the culture and try to add something to it, not just tech, you know, try to do something that can add and then participate in making this culture what it is now, you know? So, yeah, third year, third year in London, I feel proud. That's the first convention I ever participated in, in three years ago. The first convention was London. So I was very honored to be part of this massive and super well organized event. And uh, yeah, so amazing job from all the team, you know, like Mickey, Nadine, all, all doing a fantastic job. And the venue and the location is fantastic as well. I didn't know the previous one. This one is great. I love the energy. I love the people. I love, the, you know, to see what I love the most about London is to get the convention is that you get to see work that you see on social media or internet from other artists and you get to see them walk around and be like, oh yeah, I love that piece, you know? And like, can you see it, you know? And that's pretty cool. And yeah, overall, I think that it's, you know, really helping in partly like in, you know, in making the tattoo community grow and like inspire people. You get to see a lot of people walking around. I was like, oh, I didn't know that. I didn't know that. I didn't know that artist. And you get to see so many international artists in one place. And I think that's a great thing for the tattoo for culture. The future of the tattoo, I hope that it's just gonna keep getting better and better. You know, it's, it's definitely growing. Year after year, it's growing more and more. And like everything that grows, there is good and bad. We have to focus on the good and try to, you know, like have more good and try to just not pay attention to what is not good, you know. And we just have to educate people that uh, tattooing, you know, became an art form. It has always, it's, it started, I think, mostly as a craft, you know, in most cultures it was a craft. So a lot of artists see themselves as, a lot of tattooers see themselves as craftsmen. I like to see myself as an artist. I think there is a both. There is a, it's still craftsmanship because you have to use your hands to create stuff. But I think there is a beautiful artistry involved. Thank you. No, thank you.